So uh, feel free, there's plenty of shade over here as well. If you'd like to be in the shade, you'd be welcome to do that. I'm joined today by a number of our award-winning team at Ray White Glen Waverley, uh, Dennis, uh, Sean, Peter Messia, Ian, and our marketing agent, Rick Chia, who has done a fantastic job in marketing this property and uh, dealing, of course, with any inquiries that you may have. Um, so please feel free to engage with Rick regarding any real estate inquiries that you may have. Uh, my name's Damien, as I said earlier, and it's a, my great pleasure on behalf of Ray White to welcome you this afternoon. It's our first to the auction contract that I draw your attention. The particulars of sale read as follows. Ray White Real Estate are the selling agency today. We sell for and on behalf of our vendor, that property known to you and I, simply as number 10, to Carla Court here in Mulgrave. We sell the property by way of public auction. If you are the successful purchaser, you'll come inside shortly, sign the auction contract, pay the deposit, vacant possession in 30 or 60 days from today's date, unless you've made prior arrangements with Rick, 30 or 60 days from today's date, 10% deposit, and away we go towards that settlement period. Buyers forming part of the contract and attached to it, the vendor's statement outlines all the relevant council zoning and planning information. It has been on display. It is a very straightforward auction contract indeed. I must advise you by law that today's auction shall be conducted in accordance with those laws set out in Schedule 1 of the sale of land regulations and any additional information that was made available prior to the commencement of today's auction. Those rules permit the making of vendor bids by me as the auctioneer. The words I'll use to indicate a vendor bid are simply vendor bid. There has been a reserve price set for the property. I will indicate bidders upon request and there are penalties for anyone who should engage in any disruptive or prohibitive conduct or bidders that prevent others from bidding and there are fines for this conduct. Buyers, lastly, I need to remind you that I cannot accept a late bid after I've declared the property sold. So if you're here today with the interest to purchase, and I know that there are a few of you here today with the interest to purchase, you need to be the highest bidder when I declare the property sold because after I have declared it sold, I cannot reopen the bidding and accept any late bid after it is sold. Well, buyers, a great opportunity, and I think for the smart buyers and investors in the marketplace, they can certainly see that the market is on the move and they are wanting to secure today at today's pricing and know that they've locked in their acquisition. And for good reason, interest rates are at an all-time low, and I think that that is giving the buyer marketplace plenty of confidence to go out and purchase. What we have here is a beautiful property that you can move straight in and enjoy, of course. It's spotlessly clean, three bedrooms uh, throughout there, of course, uh, generous in size. Uh, the lounge dining area and that kitchen and meals area, then of course going out to the rear yard, the swimming pool facility there on the side. But it's here on the corner of a great uh, court location with a park across the road. Waverley Gardens is around the corner. Access to the freeway and East Link are on your doorstep. About 25 minutes in off-peak travel through to the CBD. What more could you ask for, buyers? Perfect pocket of real estate. A great home to bring up your family or as an investment. Buyers, we are here to sell. Who'd like to be the first one to get us underway? An offer, a bid to start. What do we say to get us underway on a beautiful sunny afternoon? I'm in your hands. Seven, welcome there. I wish you good luck today with your purchase. At seven's the call buyers. I'm happy to take a $10,000 rise from there. At $700,000, who's gonna make it 710? At 700, we have. At seven and away we go at seven. Who's gonna make it 710 now? At 700,000, can I call it 710? At $700,000 bid here at seven. Who's gonna make it 710 now? At $700,000, what do we say buyers at 710? At 700, it is across the road. Now's your opportunity to purchase buyers. 720. 20, 720, good bidding. Maybe we go to 40. 720 it is. 40. 40. Do we go 60? Strong bid. 60. 60's here. 760 now. At 760. 760 it is. 760. Maybe I'd go 80 then. 80. 80 it is. Take me to 800 even. Eight, eight it is. Eight, there's the bid. At $800,000 it is and away we go. Happy to take 10 from here if you like. At $800,000 it is at eight. Eight, 10 if you like across the road, Rick. 
at $800,000 it is, two bidding strongly at $800,000 it is. Eight's the bid, who's going to make it 18? And selling, don't you? And selling to you here in front at $800,000. Can I call it 18 now? At $800,000 bid here at eight, who's going to make it 18? 800 it is, we sell away if there's no higher bid. $800,000, there should be a sea of hands in the air. What do we say? Are we done? Eight's the bid, can I call it 18? 820,000 it is. Rick, the bid's back here at 820. Two bidding strongly, but you need to yell out, buyers, if you'd like to participate, particularly if you are behind me. You think five, Debbie? You think five? 815. What's the bid now? 15. 15. 20. 20. 25. 25. 25 it is. 825. 8.30 if you like. 25 is the bid, 30 can I say. 8.25 it is, 30 now, can we go? 8.25 is the bid here at 8.25. 8.25 is the call buyers, 8.25. 8.25 we have, we sell away if there's no higher bid at 8.25. 8.25 it is, are we done? 8.25 is the call. Happy to take five. 825 it is, here in front. 825, Rick bidding against your bidder. 30, 30 now. 35? 32. 32 and a half? 32. 32 and a half just makes it easier for me to count. 32. 32. 832, make it 35. 832, do we go 35 here? Can I call it? 32 is the bid. 832. 832 it is. $832,000 bid here at 832. What do we say? 832 is the bid. We sell away if there's no higher bid. 832 it is. Once here, 832. Do we go to 40? 838's the call. <coughs> Happy to take a thousand. Do we make it 839? 838 it is here. We sell away if there's no higher bid. First call, fair warning. 838. Sir, madam, are we done? No. Second call. 838. 39. 39. 40? 40. 40. 40 it is. 40 is the bid now. Do we go 41 or better bid? 840 it is. 840,000 it's here in front at 840. Against you at the rear there. 840. $840,000 it is. Are we done? 840, now's a good time for me to remind you I can't accept a late bid after I've declared it sold. $840,000, Peter, are we done? First call bidding is here at 840. Second call, are we done? Definitely out. 840 it is. Sir and Madam, it's just you we wait for now. In fairness to our highest bidder, I need to know. 840 it is. Third and final call, I sell away. Are we done? So just confirm with me, are you in or out?
Yeah, 500. Yes. 841. 8.41. Do we go again for a half? 45. 46. 46, it's here. 846, you know we're gonna to get to 50. Why don't you take me there? 46 it is. What do we say? 846. Do we go 50? 846. 846, sell it away. I've got to give you a third call and it tells me that you might come in again. 846 buyers. First call, 846. Give you a moment to discuss. Second call, 846. Third and final call. Can I tempt you for 500 or are we done? At 846, Peter, could you seek confirmation, please? I can't accept a late bid. We're selling at 846, buyers. It's going, it's going, sold. Congratulations today. Well purchased, well done. Commiserations to our underbidders. Thank you for attending another successful Ray White auction. Have a great weekend. Well done. Congratulations. Well done, well done. Congratulations.